Look at our little wobble dogs. Angel Lake is just absolutely, quite literally headbanging to the music and seems to be having an absolutely fantastic time. I sort of want to take a moment to snag a screenshot. I am so happy that I can actually go ahead and I can snag screenshots of our wobbles now because they are kind of wiggly. I'm going to admit that about our wobble dogs. They don't tend to hold still. So sometimes when I take pictures of them, <laughs> they're very blurry. Oh, this new update is just so cool. I cannot wait just to be able to pile up a ton of the food and be able to, where are you going on a wing? <gasps> and be able just to make it rain a whole bunch of pancakes again because that was so much fun. But let's go ahead and we're going to clean up more of that poop and uh, settle in. Oh, well, there's more poop to clean up. Where are you going, Nana Wing? Were you coming in here for pan? Okay, well, you can come in here for pancakes too. My goodness, I forgot we had so many pancakes everywhere. <laughs> But welcome, oh, welcome back to the wacky wild world of Wobble Dogs, my friends. <gasps> Where someone found a tusk? Okay, I think that that is pretty new. I'm pretty sure that that is new. That is very exciting. I love that as a toy. I think we're going to clear away some of these fake trees and start planting real trees in here because I think it's easier for our pups to be able to maneuver around. And uh, we're going to get ready to carry on with trying to make the whitest dog possible. Yes, I do have a whole bunch of your amazing wobble dog codes that you guys have been sending over to our mail for Siri at gmail.com fan mail. Uh, and I am absolutely going to be like digging through some of those, but I feel like we're so close we're so close to that achievement to just oh extra oh wait what oh, there's some new things oh i think there's a couple one winged angel oh my gosh i love that reference <laughs> Okay, I just think we're so close. Is Iceberg an adult yet? <gasps> yes, good boy, Iceberg. Continue, continue, or I guess good, oh no, don't bark. Gosh darn it. Continue to eat all of these pancakes, please, because I'm pretty sure if we just get a few more pancakes eaten, oh, sorry about that, buddy. But if we get a few more pancakes eaten, there's a chance that when Iceberg ages up into an adult, which should happen today, Lateria! Oh my gosh, Lateria! I forgot we had. <laughs> I completely forgot we had this low gravity room. This is amazing. Wow! It's like art. Look at all of the the alien fruit just floating around. Oh my gosh! And it seems like the dogs can kind of maneuver around. Lateria is having a great time, so I'm just gonna let them like come and play. But if they're getting to the point where they're like starting to get so old, they might pass away. I do think we need to bring in a stronger celery line. And celery the fifth is actually grown up. So if you remember, our celery lineage does indeed focus on having a very long wobbly dogs with many legs. And celery the fifth has provided us with some excellent uh, like three headness, but we do not, alas, have the length anymore. However, we can fix that. So let's see, let's go ahead. Do I want to breed them right now? I, I Actually, I know why I'm distracted. I'm distracted because it appears that Celery the Fifth is having a hard time with like eating. It's, it's their needs that are distressing me. I don't remember what coconuts do, but let's just let you eat, my little one. All right, and then we're gonna give Celery the Fifth all of the pets, all of the pets, so that they are very happy. And then I think we shall go ahead and encourage them to take a little nap. There. I guess, can I praise you for that? Oh, you can praise them while they sleep. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Oh, again, absolutely have to just kind of like wiggle in. Oh, look at you. Okay, definitely taking some pictures here. Oh, I love saving the memories. Uh, you just look back. Oh my gosh, there's an egg in here. You just look back years later and you're so proud about how things have gone when you can like reflect upon your memories. Uh, also, I forgot there was an egg in here. So let me pull up the random comments generator using the comments that you guys leave on the previous videos in order to randomly select a name. And we have, <gasps> I forgot how big the wings are on this dog. Oh my gosh, you guys, welcome. Toad! Arctic, thank you so much for suggesting the name Toad. 
I think we're actually going to like fill this place with the alien fruit because I think that makes the, the dogs green. And we're gonna see if we can make Toad literally a flying Toad. And look at that little tail. Oh my gosh. I know we still have so many traits with like the horns, the ears, the eyes, the different types of wings, uh, the number of legs that we can unlock. So we're going to have a great time. Toad, welcome to the party. Let me go ahead and I am going to actually try to provide some food to everybody because I am slightly concerned about like the food situation in here. Um... All right, so let's see. We already got music playing. Excellent. Let me grab... No, 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 no. I want the jungle... No, it's alien fruit, so that would be space lab. And let me double check. Alien, thick legs, glossy sheen, long ears, tiny nose, purple body with green coloration, orange nose and ears. Yeah, we're going to pile up some alien fruit in here. This is now going to be the alien fruit station, which I love. <gasps> and I guess now that we have the chest, we could just have one room kind of be dedicated to dropping and dispensing as much food as possible. And then you could just put the chest in that room and then you could go ahead and make the food just like magically pour out of it. Uh, like see, I could bring over our little storage chest, put it in the corner and I could say storage chest, gather all of the alien fruit and then set it free <laughs> it's raining fruit oh my gosh look at that <laughs> that's so cute oh my goodness okay that's so cute this is like the happiest little pup right now oh my gosh look there's so much food for celery to eat there oh that's lovely and then you can go ahead and uh wait does this you can just like get rid of all of the stuff in the pins. I could just poop scoop with like lasers. I mean, that has its benefits. All right. I hope you can like change the style of the chest. Also, do you guys know if there happen to be more types of dens? Because I want to get more den upgrades, but I think there's only the jungle. I just haven't found any others. But all right. So let's go ahead and we are going to have Celery and Lataria uh, have an egg because otherwise I am a little worried that we are going to lose out on the longness of our wobble dogs. For the celery lineage at least. Hello, hello everyone, hello. Let's see what we got here. We got some, oh, that's a really pretty pink color, but it's not quite what we're looking for. All right, it doesn't look like we're carrying, oh, look at the little back ears. Oh, like little wolf ears, that's so cute. Oh, this one has the little wolf ears too. Okay, let's try these two. We want length and I would love to keep like the multiple head thing going, but it seems like we're gonna need to work at getting the, the multiple head thing happening a little bit harder. All right, come on. Oh no, oh my gosh. So are the multiple headed dogs just always going to be kind of short? Is that the case or like, is that short? I guess that's short. Oh, they're so cute though. It's like a little harvest of green beans. Oh dear. All right. Well, it's been a while since we've had a puppy named Green Bean, hasn't it? Let's grab a couple with unusual coloring. And then let's just kind of see where things go. We already have this really cute like droopy face that I wasn't really expecting. Um, and we'll kind of go with the upturned snout as well. Hi guys. Oh, we have so many heads popping up. I had to like double check that everybody has three heads and other sentences you don't ever expect to say except when you're in the middle of your wobble dog experiments. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, 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 indeed, little friends. All right, so I think we're gonna select these ones. I know I'm just kind of picking similar ones over and over again, but I'm hoping as we push the simulation we will get something a little different because I really love the pointed ears that we seem to so far have locked in. I love that we're fighting between the little upturned triangle nose or really a square nose, cube nose maybe, <laughs> and the little pea nose. And I love that we kind of have like this battle between the two colors. Ooh, ooh! Now we're getting some colors I'm definitely not familiar with. I'm kind of, I, I'm way too tempted by that purple. Oh man, okay, you know what? We're gonna go for it. Yeah, we were supposed to go green. Can't help it. 
There's some interesting stuff happening. All right, let's go with this one and this one. Oh man. We're, we're off to the races now, friends. I don't even know where we're going. We, now we've got banana dogs. I could be behind banana dogs. <gasps> Whoa! I don't think we've ever had a puppy that color before. <gasps> their ears! You guys, their ears! Oh my gosh, okay. Oh no, I think I need to make a decision. We have puppies with little cross ears. Three, three headed, cross eared, multi legged banana dogs. Oh boy, okay. Oh man. I'm gonna be so mad if we lose the cross ears, but I wanna see what we can do one more time. Oh, panic, 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 panic. Did we, did we almost lose the cross ears? We've only got one set of cross ears left. I think we should probably take it. <gasps> the colors are so cool though. But no, 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 I'm gonna be so upset if we lose the cross ears and we only have like one, one dog with them. Oh man. Oh, but I really, Oh, I'm gonna be so mad. I'm gonna, no, don't do it, Siri. Don't do it, don't do it. You back away, you back away. You grab this dog and you run. Oh my gosh, I almost did it. Oh, that was so much harder than I thought it would be. <laughs> I really wanted to see where that purple color was taking us. What, Latera? Oh man, okay. Well, it doesn't seem like working with Latera and working with, um, oh, hey, Nana Wing, that working with Latera and working with Celery actually ended up giving us the expected Celery outcome. So maybe we just wouldn't consider that to be part of the Celery lineage. But I would really like to go ahead and maybe see Nana Wing and Latera, which I know a lot of you guys have been, I think, requesting. But let's check all of the current adults. Oh, hey, Joy! It's a joy to see you, my dear. All right, Latera is like living their best elder life, hanging out over there. Kiwi Bean's still a teen. Angel Lake! You know what? I mean, why not? I don't think Angel Lake's had any puppies yet. Should we do this? I mean, Angel Lake is, okay. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> In the arms of an angel, oh my gosh. Your nose! Okay. <laughs> oh, and there's little moon pies floating around. How could you resist this? I ask you. Me! Yeah, how could you resist this? Okay. Should I do that? I mean, why not? We don't have much longer with Latera. We've got the eggs. I feel like Latera has a lot to offer for the celery lineage, though, so. You know what, I think it should be Latera and Nana Wing. I think we've bred these two before, but my instincts are just saying, I like we don't have many long dogs anymore. And I think I, I am gonna need to work on the long dogs or we're gonna have to start all over with making long dogs. And we worked so hard with the celeries. And right now our celeries are short. So we, we need to have an eye on big celeries. All right, I think these guys will do. So this time, even though it's gonna be a little hard for me, I'm gonna try really hard to kind of be looking for the length of the dogs. And if we can have long wings, all the better. Ooh, I love that coloring of the white on top. Oh my gosh, the white ears and the square eyes. Okay, that's really fun. Ooh, and we're starting to get some really long boy dogs. Okay. Let's see if we can do something with that. And then I should probably, oh, they're flying. Yes. Oh my gosh, these guys are so cool. Okay, I should probably stop as soon as we get one that's long, longer than this. And it has like the white and the square ears. Am I gonna get that lucky? All right, we've got green ear beans. We're getting a little longer over here. I think we're doing pretty good. Good job, Latera, like long bean jeans. Ooh, we're starting to get a little bit longer over here. I like this mint coloring to the ears too. Oh, you guys, I kind of just like this one. This is a great mix between Latera and Nana Wing that I feel like might bring some hope into the celery lineage. You know what, I, I, I'm just, it's one of those moments where I'm like, this is, this is the one. Oh, very different from the struggle that we just went through. But I think Celery the Fifth is sitting on top of some really cool genetics that we're going to want to explore a little bit more. 
Ah, but you know who else is sitting on top of cool genetics? You, Iceberg! You! Please don't eat a whole bunch of the alien fruit. Please focus on just infinite pancakes. I, I beg of thee. Oh, what? We have a puppy in here, too? <gasps> I don't remember this dog. Okay, let me pull up a new name. Okay. All right. Who do we have now? <gasps> Hello! Oh my gosh, Loaf is such a cute name. Loaf is such a cute name! Oh my goodness. And look at the little concerned face. Okay, so this is actually from Brie, Izzy, and Nikki. Oh, we have had you around here before, Brie, Izzy. So, uh, in fact, I think you were literally just here. So I'm actually going to name this one. Let's see. Like, after a, after a cookie? I just had a delicious almond cookie. Because um, I like the idea of the name Loaf being with these short, squat little dogs that look like little bread loaves. So we're going to name this uh, a Brie... Let's see, Brizloaf? Hmm, let's go with Izzy Loaf. There we go, I like it. Izzy Loaf, how do you do? Having a good time? All of the dogs seem to love the music. They're born into the sound of music. <gasps> Angel Lake, no! Angel Lake, get out of here! You've gotta go eat! You literally landed in a giant pile of pancakes. I think you're gonna be okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Oh my gosh. Don't scare me like that, Apple Joy. Thank you for, like, the howling, but, like... <gasps> Lazaria! Oh my gosh. What happens when a wobble... Oh, there's an egg! Oh, she left behind an egg. What happens when a wobble dog dies in space? Uh-oh. <gasps> well... Now we know. Now we know, friends. I, I, I'm not exactly sure how I feel about this. Just saying. Just saying. But now we know. Alright. Well. <gasps> oh, you guys. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's even better. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Alright. Rest in peace. Literally pieces, Latera. Oh, and then next time Iceberg is going to be ready for adulthood and we're going to have to have a wild time about that. All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining me on our adventures today. If you guys could, do please leave a like in memory of Latera. May she rest in pieces. Oh, no, celery! Oh my gosh, and we're going to need to breed celery so much. This is, this is getting into desperate times. De very, very desperate times. Also, Angel, like, what are you doing? <laughs> I love these dogs, you guys. They're just so freaking wild. But all right, thank you so much for joining me. Do please leave that like for our precious Latera. If you'd like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends... Okay, we're gonna... I don't know how we're gonna eat a space dog, but here we are. Most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye! This is ridiculously cute. Oh no.